the advent of modern technology, computers, especially GPS, have you ever wondered exactly how heights and distances were measured from one another? For that reason, and to answer that question, we need to have a look in this hedge. The answer is benchmarks and levelling points. And they're all around us, hidden in plain sight. So, what are they? Benchmarks and levelling points are either a carving in stone, a small symbol, or they are a metal bracket, referred to as a flush bracket or projecting bracket. The first type of benchmark came in the form of a cut, either into some stone or some brickwork. This meant a horizontal line with three arrows pointing into it. There was a policy at the time to have up to five per square kilometre in rural areas and 30 to 40 in urban areas. A good example is where we are now here in Clatford, just south of the A303 near Andover. Here is a good example, the bridge just under the A303, the other side of it was the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway Bridge. Just the other side of there is a flush bracket. Let's go take a look. So, as with the Clatford cutting, we're now looking for a cutting just to the north-west of Danby Hill Fort, which is just over that way. We're at the end of the track now, between Danby Hill Fort and Nether Wallop, um, where supposedly there was two. That's the one though, yeah I can see it. So next up we're going to try and find a metal flush bracket. We're heading towards uh, Wayhill Church, just north of the A303. Success, we found the flush bracket on the east face of Wayhill Church, uh, which is just north of the A303, literally a few hundred yards north of the A303. Fundamental benchmarks are much less frequent, approximately 25 miles apart from each other and still used today. Each has a buried chamber with a brass bolt set into the top of a granite pillar. Here's one in Winchester, just the top of a hill to the west on the A31. So exactly how did they work? What were they for? Well, as we suggested, they're for measuring distances and heights between one another, which would ideally give an accurate sort of survey of the land, um, heights, hills, um, and terrain in the UK. The idea being you have a starting point, which is called a datum point, And currently I think it's in Newland in Cornwall. Um, and then you work inland from there. Now, the idea being that if you know the height of one of them, for example, at sea level, you can therefore use all sorts of really reasonably basic mass to work out the height of the next one. Um, so with that in mind, the theory is, if you find one of these, there in theory has to be another one pretty close to it that you can see. If you can't see the next one, then you can't measure the distance between it or the angle and the trajectory of it. Um, therefore, 
by theory, this one here has to have another one reasonably locally to it. Um, so with that in mind, if you look at the area that we are in now, which is Andover, about 10 miles uh, west from the start of the A303, there's not a great deal. There are a few located and spotted around in the villages, and there's one or two in Andover town. When you look at Tetsbury Red, which suggested um, at least 30 to 40, was it? Mm. Within a one, uh, one uh, kilometer square in a urban area. Um, and we've, we know of two in that area. So I think they either have a lot of been demolished or knocked down for whatever reason and haven't survived, or there are actually more than what's been recorded on that benchmark database. It might be somewhere just hidden. Somebody's built over them against the yeah. wall and things like that. Yeah, and I guess church ones are going to survive, aren't they? Mm. There we go, there we go. Um, hopefully that's a little insight into how heights and distances were measured. Um, certainly something new for us, certainly something that we've learned in the last few weeks. Uh, thank you for the challenge, Mr. Martin Reed. Apparently there's another challenge on its way. Um, if you like what we do, please subscribe because there's always plenty more going to be uh, planned. Um, notification bell, thumbs up. Is that everything? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Um, and yeah, and it suggests other things that we may want to look at. Weird, weird, random historical architecture, um, landscape history, that kind of stuff. Goodbye.